check out the quality of this bore scope as I go up through this oil drain plug. I'm going to peek around the bottom side of the pistons, the connecting rods. If I take my time, I could even turn the corner and look at the transmission. I'm going to peek at the oil pump shaft right there. This thing is cool. Let me show you what else this can do. Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about Jezreel bore scopes, and we're going to talk about why they're so different, why they became the official new tool of the How to Wrench and Tools to Wrench workshop. It's got some special features, so let's jump right in. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. Enjoy the video. I'm going to take it next and do some real world applications here on this Honda VFR where we're going to take a look inside this motor in a couple different ways and show you the quality of the videos on the SD card. Let's do that now. All right, here we go. This is right off the SD card. This quality is amazing. Poke down through the spark plug hole here. Now, this was after we just put a head on here. We had to replace a head gasket, but there's the top of the piston. You can see the cylinder wall with a real nice cross hatch. You're going to see me peek back up and take a look at the valves. All right. Obviously, you can see that clean head. Man, look at the detail. I'm going to peek back down. What I'm going to try and do next is see if I can like, articulate it enough to actually see it come in. There you go. You can actually see it coming through the spark plug hole back up at itself. This thing is amazing on the flexibility of that cable. Go ahead and pull out here. So one thing you want to do is figure out your steering angle here. So since I want to go like this, I want to intentionally insert it into where I have that room to move. The play button. You can see me going down in there. It's really cool that I can watch it right from here, that I don't have to take it off, you know, off of here. I can look at my evidence real quick right here. I really like that. Not really seeing anything, but while I'm down here, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and check things out. Looking like normal gear wear. This is a used engine, of course. You can see those witness marks, right? And not seeing any junk. So the cleaning process is working pretty good there. Let me show you what comes in the kits and go through some of the features and my favorite part about this bore scope. First off, what you're going to see is I've got two models that they sell that are different thicknesses of the scope cable. And I wanted to just, you know, make sure you can see the box. It's nice and well packaged, if you will. It's foam wrapped, you know, shadow boxed, if you will. But it's going to come like this with this bag of goodies. They're the same regardless. But before I jump into this one, this is a 6.2 millimeter and this is an 8.5 millimeter. So interesting enough, this one is less expensive and has a pretty significant coupon that you're going to find in the discount codes below. It's like a $40 off coupon on this. And that gets this one uh, down quite a bit. This would work in... 99.9% .9 everything I do, but I prefer the small one because we work on a lot of smaller engines, if you will, or Japanese engines, that what we learned was this diameter was a lot better to get in some really tight spots, okay, just because of its, of its small nature. So maybe it costs more to manufacture, not sure. But what I want to do is jump into, you get this, like I said, in a very nice shadow box case. The tool itself, we'll get into that in a second. Let me just show you what it comes with. Obviously, a charging cable, like I said, all ready to go in here. The manual, cleaning cloth, and some isopropyl wipes. But this is kind of some of the stuff where it starts to surprise me. It comes with a USB drive 
to be able to put your SD card in and then boom, get right to your computer and access those images. That's a big advantage to have it sitting in here because then you don't gotta go hunt one down. I thought that was a pretty cool feature. The tool itself, okay, I'll put all the specs in there too of how long cables and stuff are. It's pretty, it's pretty long. It has a nice stiffness to it. The larger diameter one I really liked. I mean, it was really stiff, but the more I'm playing around with this one, the reason I like this one so much more than some of my other bore scopes is that the cable was just really flimsy, right? And I'm not complaining, I used them. But once you have something in your hand that will hold its shape, you're gonna find that you'd really like to use that, okay? So once again, props up to the stiffness of the cable, yet, the ability to be quite compact and to bend around. Now, the other thing that they have is they have this a little sleeve right here, and this is tungsten carbide steel, super flexible, but look at that. I could go over, you know, over 90 degrees on that. So really, really wild on how that works. The other thing, it's really super smart. The lever here is right in the middle, giving you an indication that, you know, if you're down inside a hole, that you would be straight to pull it back out. A lot of the other ones are just a knob, and so you have to kind of make your own reference mark. Okay, this means straight, this means this, this means that, right? You know, as far as the angle depends how you insert this in, depends on that, on this, you know, is this left, right, up, down, whatever. But having this kind of center of, of the way here, that was a nice feature. So great job on that. But here it is. Here is by far my favorite thing about this bore scope. My favorite thing. And matter of fact, when they first approached me, I said, no, I have so many of these. I've done so many reviews. I think we're ready to move on. I don't know how you can make them any better. And they're really nice. And I, you know, just said, well, will you take a look? So I took a look. And then when I saw this, I was like, I got to have one of these. This is the cat's meow. What we know with a million of the tools that we have nowadays and accessories we get from flashlights to you name it, is that once that battery dies, it's done. It just becomes a, a junk tool. And on diagnostic equipment that you really love, I always hate that, right? So I, I like to find stuff with rechargeable batteries that you can replace and check this out. This has that readily available battery that you can buy off Amazon. So you could actually buy replacements and then not have to replace the entire tool. Super, super cool feature. I thought that was awesome. Uh, let's look at some of the, the standard buttons on here. I'll just go ahead and power this up. Very nice screen. They even have choices on the pixel count on the screen I saw on their website. So that was a, a, a neat feature as well. You can see here, I'll just kind of run that around. This is such a great feature. Obviously, we've got settings. We could control the light on here. I like that this is right at my thumb. You will find there's times where you want to turn this down. And that's pretty cool that it's easy to access. The back of the camera right here has, you know, one click for photos. So I could sit and grab a photo. Or if I hold it it switch into record mode. And then when I get done, I could just tap it and go. I will say, you wanna be mindful of that. I noticed sometimes when I'd be moving around or especially if I was like, you know, using it in household applications where I was laying upside down on my head, looking up a cabinet or something, I could bump that. So I learned to kind of keep my finger off of, you know, off of that trigger, if you will, and hold it down here. So a little pro tip for you on that. The thing that we have on the top here is for our SD card. Simple enough. Here's a little shot of it being charged up. The charge port is actually on the side right here. And you'll see a little red LED when it's charging up. I'm not sure what this one on the top is for yet. I'll have to find out and get back to it. And what you're able to do is you're able to view all the data you know on the tool itself too you don't have to pull it so you're going to see some examples that i'm going to show to access this data here let's just get out of there when you're in live mode obviously it'll move around and you're going to see the little sd card and the state of battery on there if i want to get into the settings i need to hold and press this 
typical setting star, if you will. And then I can start to toggle down or up and get through anything that I want to do. Format the card I don't want to do. I got a lot of stuff on there, right? So if I want to just select the language, that's right. Hit OK. Pick my language. Use my arrows. I'm just going to back out of here for now. And I'm back to that screen. I know I'm live because I can move that around. If I hit this arrow button, you're going to notice it goes to the number of files that are on the SD card right now. And now I could start to just toggle through these and see what I want to see. So here's one. I could see it's a video. I'm going to go and actually be able to play this right here by this little play and pause button over here. So I don't have to take it off here. If I want to go in there and go, what did I think I saw down in that motor? I have the ability to look right on the tool itself. I can hit pause. I can hit back here, get out of there, and go back to work. All right, my friends, what did you think of that? Put in the comments below what you thought of the quality of the features, especially things I talked about, about the lever control for the articulation, the replaceable battery, the fact that it comes with a you know an SD reader. That stuff is all uh, pretty neat, and the SD cards came with those as well. So I'm going to have links below to all this stuff so you can get these for yourself. And if you do so, put in the comments. I ordered mine. I bought mine. It's kind of cool. We like to know that we're doing videos on tools that you actually use and need or that maybe you have on your wish list. So we want to thank Jezreel for choosing How to Wrench to be one of the partners here on the channel and especially the new Tools to Wrench channel. We will find some other uses outside of just our shop here and make videos on those as well. So if you like tool videos, you might want to head over to the Tools to Wrench channel and subscribe to that because we'll take everyday tools that we use in the shop and show them for other uses at your home and business all kinds of applications like that. Well, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Our goal is to get this thing out of here by this weekend. I still got carbs to do and a lot of work, but big shout out, like I said, to our new tool sponsor. Like, share, and subscribe. As always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.